The three grant-assisted colleges in Guernsey, Elizabeth College, Blanchland College and the Ladies College, all play an integral part in Guernsey's education system, educating 30% of the island's secondary school students. Yet the colleges cost the states just 6% of its total education budget. They provide the states with value and capacity, and residents and newcomers to the island with choice. Without these independent schools, secondary education would cost the taxpayer millions of pounds more. Put simply, the colleges save the state's money. 99% of students who take part in the college's entrance assessments are successful, and the majority would not have been selected through the 11 plus system. The colleges cater for the widest range of abilities and are not selective. To fully understand Guernsey's education landscape, it's essential that the colleges are seen as part of education's thinking and as part of the solution. For example, by working with the colleges, the states can significantly reduce the cost of building bigger schools to allow for short-term spikes in numbers. The colleges are not elitist, they cater for all abilities. They receive first-class school inspections and achieve outstanding results. They are part of Guernsey's heritage dating back hundreds of years. The colleges currently receive a grant from the states most of which goes to paying fees for special placeholders. If that grant is not replaced with sufficient funds to support assisted places, it would mean that only those parents who could afford to pay the fees would be able to send their sons or daughters to one of the colleges. The colleges would not be inclusive. A realistic level of funding will mean that every Guernsey child would be eligible to take the entry assessment and if they couldn't afford the fees, they could apply for a means-tested place, providing the opportunity for inclusivity. So, it's important to remember the colleges provide value for money, extra capacity and choice, a factor which is valued by the Guernsey community in many areas of local life. Together, the colleges and state secondary schools provide a fantastic education portfolio for the island but it will only remain successful if everyone works together. To find out more, go to the3colleges.gg.